Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick here, and today bringing you guys a brand new video, and in this video, I get the next episode of my Let's Play Clash of Clans series. Alright, so taking a look at my base, you can see I finally redesigned it at Town Hall 7. Got a clan castle, two storages, and my Dark Elixir storage in the center, followed with all the other buildings, but unfortunately, I saved too many walls to the very end, and I didn't use enough in the center of my base, so overall, I'm gonna have to switch this design pretty soon, but I'm just a little bit lazy right now after I just designed it. So I could use those 18 walls I have left over, to split apart those four buildings in the center and sort of just redesign my base around that. It wouldn't be too much different. I tried to get creative with some of the walls on the outside and I had little funnel points with spring traps, but uh, yeah, it should be pretty solid for now. I'm really not too worried about those walls on the outside, but I'll switch that within the next couple of episodes. And then of course, once I get my Barbarian King, I'm gonna have to switch it up once again. So it's definitely gonna be fluid at Town Hall 7. Don't expect one base design to last too long since we're constantly doing new stuff. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and attack this first base and see how many resources we can steal. All right, so for this first base, this guy has 300,000 gold, 300,000 elixir. Looks like most of it's going to be on the outside, and if it's not a significant portion in the center, which is pretty well protected, I'm just going to go ahead and take the town hall in the very bottom and leave, and it looks like there's only going to be about 60,000 of each inside of the storages. So this is what you have to do if you guys haven't watched my Ultimate Lazy Farming Guide, which I post all the time. It's a... Uh, yeah, if there's not enough gold and elixir inside of the storage in the center to where you're going to have to spend all of your troops, you're going to have to wait for your troops to retrain, it's better just to surrender the raid or take the town hall and leave and to go ahead and fight the next battle and you're going to be able to find a better profit without having to sacrifice your troops to get to the center. So that's what I did on that one. I left 120,000 on the table and in the end I found a base right here that has 320,000 gold and 130,000 elixir. Uh, so pretty solid trade and let's go ahead and see if we can steal most of it from inside of the storages. So I thought there would be a pretty good amount inside of the gold mine, so I'm going to go ahead and start attacking from the top right. If I didn't want to attack those gold mines, I could have attacked from the bottom right, which would have had a better access point to get to those gold or gold storages. Um, and as I attack these gold mines, I realized there really wasn't too much inside of it at all, and pretty much all the gold is going to be inside of the storages. There was only around 10,000. I was expecting somewhere around 100,000, uh, so definitely need to make sure I get to those storages and steal as much resources as I can. All right, so first storage is going down. My troops are slow, slowly making their way there. The thing with this guy's base, even though he is a really under level town all eight, most of his buildings are only like level four for the cannons. The mortars are only level two or level three. Even though they are under leveled, he still has so many of the buildings built that all three of the mortars and all three of the wizard towers are definitely doing work on my goblins inside of the center. So all I'm going to do is slowly drop my goblins. I've already taken care of a couple of the storages. Looks like they're heading for those two last gold storages right now. And now that that wizard tower went down, there's going to be one less thing shooting at him. But I don't think I'm going to be able to steal everything. And those last couple of goblins are going to run towards that gold storage. All right, so we did pretty well. There was over 300,000 300, gold available. Looks like there's only going to be about 65,000 left. And we got a little bit lucky with these archers. And it turns, that, turns out that they were out of range of the uh, Teslas and they're gonna be able to shoot down the town hall without anyone distracting them. So pretty lucky there. Unfortunately, my giant wasn't able to swipe down that Tesla, which could have got us to 50% and another star on top of that, but can't be too greedy. And let's go ahead and check out what we got in the end. All right, so 245,000 gold, 124,000 elixir. Not a monster raid by any means. Nothing like the last couple of episodes where I was finding 950,000, finding like 500,000 every single time. It's definitely calmed down a little bit, but bases like these definitely add up. And let's go ahead and attack this next one right here. All right, so 457,000 available. I'm going to go ahead and check the mines and pumps just to see how much he is available inside of these. Looks like there's actually going to be a pretty solid amount. And after I take care of these, I'm going to look at how much is going to be inside of the storages but I really doubt I'm gonna have to make my way inside of the base so taking care of the stuff on the outside I definitely don't want to skip that dark elixir drill which should have a pretty good amount up top and as my archers shoot those down let's go ahead and check around the rest of the base and see exactly what else we're missing out on we're already at a million gold and almost a million elixir so that's pretty solid right there troops are still shooting down that town hall and yeah there's still two elixir collectors one gold mine and that last dark elixir drill. So I'm going to shoot those down. And after that goes down, we should be able to wrap it up for this raid. I don't think we're going to get anywhere close to 50% since this guy, I think, is what, a town hall 8? Um, but yeah, as my troops shoot those last couple of buildings down, hopefully my archers don't get distracted by, by, by that barbarian king and just shoot over the top. And it uh, looks like that king's going to stay with a question mark on top of his face. And we should just be able to steal this dark elixir and bail. So there is 900 dark elixir available. Sort of looking back on it, it wouldn't have been a bad idea to try to get to the center of the base, but seeing as I didn't have any goblins left, because I sort of went crazy on those uh, on the very top, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up with this raid and surrender, and I think that should be able to do it for the raiding today. 
So in total, 410,000 resources, 345 Dark Elixir. I think in the coming episodes, I'm really going to start focusing on that Dark Elixir so we can make our way to 10,000. But uh, let's go ahead and go back to our base, do our upgrades, and that should be able to wrap it up for this episode. So the army camp is already being upgraded. I started that in the very beginning of the episode since I had the elixir available and I didn't want to max out. I'm also going to go ahead and upgrade that archer tower since it's relatively cheap. And uh, looking at my laboratory, I have a couple of different upgrades I can do and it's really just torn between the giant and the wall breaker. So the wall breaker is pretty useful upgrading it to level four. I can break through a lot of walls um, that I couldn't have previously that having to use like three wall breakers, I could have downgraded it to two. But overall, I think the giants are more useful. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade those guys and then the very next upgrade will be those wall breakers. All right, so barracks upgrading to level seven. This one's pretty cheap as well. It's what we got at Town Hall 7. And then looking at those last two builders, sort of have a couple of decisions. I have a lot of gold available, so if I want to upgrade something like my mortar, I could. But seeing as I still have some of these buildings from when I built Town Hall 7, I'm going to go ahead and keep upgrading those guys, and those are really going to start paying off towards the end. All right, so 600,000 gold available. Last upgrade that we're going to want to do, can't really afford one of the mortars because they're 800,000. I could do one of the elixir collectors, seeing as I do want to get a couple of those to level 11 as soon as possible, but it really just depends on your priorities, and I decided I would do the cannon since it was relatively cheap at 400,000, and it's one of the newer upgrades we got at Town Hall 7, so I decided I would start that up, and let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like. I'm having the next episode in the series come out pretty soon, so make sure you check that out. And uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.